Hi guys, I'm Takara. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys saw in the title, I am going to be showing you my favorite leave-in conditioners and stylers in this video. And this will be the last video in my, I guess, little mini favorites series. I only have four leave-ins and six stylers to share with you guys. And I also have an edge control I threw in that I want to share with you guys because I've been really enjoying it. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the video. And I'm going to show you guys my favorite leave-in conditioner first. And please don't judge my bottles. These products get used and they look like they get used too. So yeah, just don't pay them no mind, they're looking a little raggedy. But the first leave-in conditioner I have here is the Camille Rose Naturals Coconut Water Leave-In Detangling Hair Treatment. Here's what that looks like. And this is the most moisturizing leave-in conditioner that I have. So if I want some intense moisture, I like to go with this leave-in conditioner. It also has great slip and it is a bit on the heavier side as compared to the other leave-ins that I'm going to be showing you guys. It's not gonna weigh the hair down per se as long as you don't use too much, but it does weigh my hair down more than my other leave-in conditioners that I'm gonna be showing you in this video. It smells great too. Literally smells like coconut water. And it does linger a bit in the hair, but it's not super strong. So yeah, favorite leave-in conditioner. And again, that is the Camille Rose Naturals Coconut Water Leave-In Detangling Hair Treatment. So the next leave-in I have here is the Jane Carter Solution Curls to Go Untangle Me Weightless Leave-In. And here's what that looks like. I don't know if this has been discontinued or not. The last time I looked on Sally's website, it wasn't on there anymore. I'm gonna need this to not be discontinued. You know what I hate? When companies decide to discontinue stuff that I love. Like why? But anyway, <laughs> I've talked about this leave-in conditioner on my channel before. This is a very lightweight leave-in conditioner. So um, if you have fine hair, this would be a great one to use because it's not gonna wear your hair down. It leaves my hair feeling soft and moisturized when I use it. Not as moisturizing as the coconut water one, but good enough to get me through my wash week. It has great slip because it's very light and the texture of it is kind of like, like a slippery texture. So it glides through the hair great. And it smells good too. It smells pretty perfumey to me, but the scent doesn't really linger in the hair. So if you can deal with it while you're applying it to your hair, then I think it's worth a try. Again, that is the Jane Carter Solution Curls to Go Leave-In Conditioner. So this next leave-in conditioner I have is the As I Am Long and Lux Grow Yogurt Leave-In Conditioner. That looks like. It is very moisturizing, but also very lightweight. It does not weigh the hair down and it has great slip. That is something that can be said for all these leave-in conditioners. They're moisturizing and they have great slip. That's why they're in this favorites video because that's what I like for my leave-in conditioners. This one also has a pretty strong scent while you're applying it. And this one does actually linger in your hair. It's not strong or anything, but once your hair is dry, you will be able to smell it in your hair. It is a pomegranate and passion fruit type of scent, apparently. Yeah, it just smells like a tart, sweet, fruity type of scent. So again, that is the As I Am Long and Lux Leave-In Conditioner. Another thing that can be said about these leave-ins is that I don't have to use a whole lot of leave-in conditioner when I use these particular ones. They spread throughout my hair very nicely. So the last leave-in conditioner I have is the As I Am Leave-In Conditioner. Here's what that looks like. This is just the original leave-in conditioner, if I'm not mistaken. This is very moisturizing as well, has great slip, smells like coconut, like a sweet coconut type of scent, almost like a perfumey coconut scent. Not heavy, so it's not gonna weigh your hair down, but I'd say in order of heaviness, like I said, the Camille Rose one is the heaviest. It's not super heavy, but it's heavier than the rest and it can potentially weigh your hair down if you use too much. When I use this, it does make my hair a bit flatter on day one, but this is one that I like to use underneath gels that might be a bit more on the drying side. I don't use this one under more moisturizing gels because it'll take away from the hold of that type of gel. So that is this one. The next heaviest one I'd say would be the As I Am, and this is not heavy. I don't feel like it's gonna weigh your hair down a whole lot, but it'll weigh your hair down a bit more than these other two. Then I'd say the As I Am Grow Yogurt is the third heaviest or second lightest. And then the lightest is gonna be the Curls to Go. So like I said, if you have fine hair, it's easily weighed down. This would be the one that I would recommend. So now we're gonna go into the stylers and I'm gonna do the ones that I like to use for one product wash and goes first. So this first product here, you guys are not gonna be surprised to see. <laughs> you guys know I love this. This is the TG Catwalk Curls Rock Curl Amplifier in the blue bottle. I think there is another one that they have now or that they've reformulated or I don't know. But this is the one I use. I've never tried the other one. I think it's in like a black and blue bottle. It's great for one product wash and goes, in my opinion. It's not the most moisturizing, but it does add enough moisture for me to use it 
by itself in my hair has great hold and it's kind of deceiving because when you apply it to your hair, it does feel like you're applying the leave-in conditioner or cream and it glides through your hair very nicely, has amazing slip, and it feels very lightweight going on to the hair. But once it dries, it dries with a cast and it's a pretty hard cast to which I personally like because I know it's gonna last me throughout the week, but it does give fluffy wash and go results. So if you don't like fluffy results, this is not gonna be a product that you enjoy. For me personally, I just, I find that it gives me great day one results. So I love using it if I need like a, a good day one wash and go. And yeah, again, that is the TG Catwalk Curls Rock Curl Amplifier and I love this. So the last one product wash and go product I'm going to be recommending is actually what I used for this wash and go here. This is the only product I use in my hair. I don't have any leave-in conditioner or nothing underneath it. This is the main choice Ancient Egyptian 24 karat glistening gold twisting gel. Now it looks raggedy but it's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> I love the scent. Oh, I forgot to mention the scent of the TG Catwalk. This just smells like a sweet ocean breeze type of scent. It's it's nice, it's different, but it's nice. This one smells sweet, ambery, and almost like some type of fruit, maybe like a peach or something. It's like a sweet peach, ambery scent. It lingers in your hair for like the first day or two, the scent does, but it's not strong, so I don't think it's gonna be overwhelming for anybody. But I like to use this product for a one product wash and go because it is moisturizing, it has great slip. That's something else that I look for in one product washing up products. I like for them to have some moisture and to have pretty good slip if I'm gonna be using it by itself with no leave-in conditioner underneath it. And I get that with this one and the, the TG, but like I said, moisturizing, great slip. I feel like this one has like a medium hold. I think the, the TG definitely has more hold than this one does, but I don't like using leave-in conditioners underneath this one because I feel like leave-in conditioners take away from the hold. So when I have tried to use this with a leave-in conditioner, it didn't hold up as long as I would like. I think this is either day three Three or day four hair, I'm not sure. But as you can see, it still looks great. It's holding up well by itself and my hair is soft. Um, it feels moisturized. Yeah, I know it says it's a twisting gel, so technically it's supposed to be used for twist out, but I use what I want for wash and goes and it works great for wash and goes. So again, that is the main choice. Ancient Egyptian 24 karat glistening gold twisting gel. These long behind names. <laughs> the first style I have here is the Eco Style Gold Gel, pretty much. I ain't reading all that. <laughs> so that's what that looks like. This one has a pretty strong scent. Um, very perfumey smelling, like a fruity perfume scent. Mine smells like it's trying to go bad. Anyway, I like this one when I don't need a whole lot of hold or I'm going for a more like moisturized type of wash and go. I feel like this gel has some moisture to it, but not enough for me to use it for a one product wash and go. This is one of the ones that I wouldn't use the Camille Rose leave-in conditioner underneath because it will just take away from the hold of the product. I can get it get like five days out of a wash and go using this gel, but soft to medium hold. It says max 10 hold. I say it has soft to medium hold. Yeah, I love how this makes my hair look when I use it. It makes my curls look very happy. Again, that is the Eco Style Gold Gel. So I'll just go ahead and talk about my other Eco Style gel here, and that is the Eco Style Curl and Wave. So the pink Eco Style gel. I use this one when I'm looking for a stronger hold. It's not a very heavy gel, so it doesn't like weigh my hair down a whole lot, but it gives me great hold. This is one of the gels I could use for like, if I wanted to, I could use it for like a two week long wash and go. It says it has a firm hold of eight, but this in my opinion and in my hair, has a better hold than the gold gel, which claims to have a 10 hold. So yeah, if I'm looking for a hold and I wanna use an eco gel, this is the one I'm going for. I feel like this one is more moisturizing. This one doesn't, it's not moisturizing in my opinion. You definitely need a leave-in conditioner. And it's gonna have a cast. So of course I break my cast in my hair, but this is one of those products where even if I do break the cast, some of the pieces of my hair will still have a cast on it. That'll have to break on its own as the week goes on. So love this. Again, that is the Eco Style Curling Wave or the Eco Style Pink gel. So next I have another main choice gel and this is the main choice tropical moringa pearly braid out glaze. Again this is supposed to be for braid outs but I use it for wash and goes. This one smells really good as well. It's like a super fruity scent. It smells yummy. But this has a good hold. This one I can use a leave-in conditioner underneath and I actually prefer to use a leave-in conditioner underneath it. It is moisturizing so I do like to use this one for one product wash and goes as well but I like the additional moisture that I get from leave-ins underneath this gel. This one has a stronger hold than the glistening one, which is why I'm okay with using a leave-in conditioner underneath this. And this makes my hair look moisturized when I use it. I know this sounds crazy, but it literally like makes my hair look shiny and healthy and happy. And 
yeah, I love it. So again, that is the main choice, Tropical Moringa Pearly Braid Out Glaze. So the last styler, I'm sure y'all are expecting to see this one, is the Wetline Extreme Gel. And here's what that looks like. This is one I use when I want a stronghold. I feel like the hold for these two is pretty similar. Um, I might get a bit more hold with the wet line. So if I want something a bit stronger than this one, I go with the wet line. It's rare that I look for a hold that strong though. <laughs> Cause wet line, if I use too much of it, can make my hair a bit flat on day one. And I don't be wanting the flat look. I like volume. But I do enjoy this. Like if I need something that's gonna last me for a good two weeks, wet line is that girl. Slip, I don't get much slip with this gel. I don't know if you guys care about slip and gels or not. This one I don't get a whole lot of slip with cause it's on the thicker side. I don't mind though, it's okay. I don't really look for my gels to have a whole lot of slip. It is nice if they do, but if they don't, I don't trip. This one has pretty good slip, and so does the Eco Style Gold Gel. This one doesn't have the greatest slip, the, the Main Choice Tropical Moringa, and this one has great slip. I think I already mentioned that, though. So yeah, the last part I have here is an edge control. This looks messy, too. I be dirtying up my stuff. But this is the Edge Fixer Glued by Kiss, and this is their collab with Saweetie. And this is just the watermelon scent. And there's a little picture of Sweetie up top there. And Kiss did send me some of their edge controls over. It does smell like watermelon, first of all. It smells amazing. But Kiss sent me some of their edge controls over to try. And I didn't have high hopes, because honestly, y'all, I don't be expecting edge controls to be all that great. I ain't gonna lie to you. Most of the time when I try them, they might seem like they're working well when I apply it. And then throughout the day, my edge is being melted and they're lifting up and everything. So when I tried this, I didn't have high expectations but this is a really good edge control i apply it it lays my edges initially and it lasts i have a comparison pic that i posted on instagram showing i think it was after one day and then three days later without reapplying the edge control and my edges still look pretty good by day three of me having used it and i was kind of shook so i had to post it i'll put the picture up on the screen but yeah this is this is really good and ever since i got this i have put my eco style down and i've been using eco style on my edges for years the argyle oil one specifically was my favorite one to use on my edges i haven't touched it since i picked this up i actually have it on my edges right now and it kind of like it goes on very smoothly which i enjoy some edge controls can be a bit rough and feel like they're ripping my edges out when i apply them to my edges this doesn't do that it goes on feeling like i said smooth and like almost like moisturizing. And then when I brush my edges, it just like brushes them down with ease. And then it kind of dries, like almost like it's a gel. Like as you can see, there's nothing transferring. And my edges look good and firm and they're still soft. It doesn't dry and feel like if I touch my edges, it's gonna break, which is something else that I have experienced with some edge controls and I don't like that. So yeah, love this edge control, highly recommend, and this video is not sponsored. They did send it to me, but it's not sponsored. I am recommending this because I love it. And even if it was sponsored, y'all know I give it to you straight. So yeah, guys, that was it. That concludes my favorite product series. Let me know what hair videos you guys want to see from me next down in the comments. I, I really Really gonna be knowing what to film. So I'm relying on you guys to let me know what you actually want to see from me that you guys are gonna actually watch because hair videos are a lot of work to film. So if y'all ain't gonna watch it, please don't recommend it. I know one of you guys requested that I continue to use my stash series where I use products in my collection that I've never used before and give you guys my thoughts on them and all that good stuff for watching goes. I can do that if you guys are interested. So let me know if that's something you guys will be interested in seeing down in the comments. I know I started that series a while back but i don't know what happened yeah i fell off you know i can't even front i fell off <laughs> so if you guys would like me to continue that series then just let me know or recommend whatever else you guys are interested in seeing from me hair content wise or even if it's not hair content and you want to see something else from me let me know down in the comments and yeah that is it thank you guys for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next one bye